friends, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. Are you ready to get into our Bible story for today? And we have a craft. Let's get started right now. Everyone listening, paying attention, having a good day. Are you having a good day today? Here we go. The people promised to be faithful. God's people were living in Judah. Nehemiah led the people in Jerusalem to turn away from their sin and turn back to God. To show they were sorry for their sin, the people stopped eating. They wore sackcloth, put dust on their heads. They spent time worshiping God, reading his word, and telling him about the wrong things they had done. They really are sorry. The leaders stood and led God's people in prayer. They prayed, You, Lord, are the only God. You created the heavens and the earth and all that is in it, the seas and all that is in them. You give life to all of them and all the stars of heaven worship you. They remembered everything God had done in the past. They prayed. You chose Abraham and made a covenant with him. You gave him the promised land and kept your promise. You always do what is right. God had rescued the Israelites from Egypt. He divided the Red Sea for them to cross. He led them with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. He gave them the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments right here. Gave them the Ten Commandments. He gave them bread and water in the wilderness, but the people had turned from God. They worshiped idols and did not trust him. Oh my goodness. Yet God was forgiving, kind, and loving. He did not leave them. God took care of his people, but the people turned from him. God sent prophets to warn them, but they did not listen. God led their enemies, let their enemies take over, and he, but he did not leave them because God is kind and loving. The leaders prayed, Now today we are slaves in the land you gave our families in the past. We need help, so we promise to follow and worship you. The people agreed to follow God's law. Then the leaders came, and some of the people stayed in Jerusalem, and everyone else went to live in other cities nearby. God's people remembered all he had done and promised to be faithful. God is kind and loving. God had always done what is right, even when his people had done what is wrong. We have God's kindness and love through Jesus, who died on the cross, so we can have life and live forever with God. Wow. So the people, they've been through a lot, and now they're going to promise to do what was right. They remembered that God was faithful. Back in the day when they didn't obey God let their enemies take them away. They had to learn to do what was right. When they were in the wilderness and they were so thirsty, God let Moses strike a rock so they could have water to drink. God was always faithful. With Abraham, God promised he would give him as many st sons as the stars in the sky, and he kept his word. When they had to cross out of Egypt, God opened up the Red Sea and walked. they walked through on dry land. And then they were so hungry, and God gave them manna to eat. God has always taken care of them. He has always been good and kind and faithful, but sometimes they forgot about him, and they turned their back on God and turned to worshiping idols. Later, they were sorry, and they promised to do what's right. Sometimes that's with us, too. We try to do what's right, but sometimes we just can't do what's right. But we can promise to do our best and say we're sorry, and do what's right. So when we feel like, how should we feel when we make a wrong choice? How should we feel? Well, we should feel sorry that we disobey God and we should want to obey him. Okay, so if you make a wrong choice, that's what we need to do. And our verse can help us. Our verse says, we should feel sorry when we disobey God and want to obey him. 2 Corinthians 7.10. We should feel sorry when we disobey God and want to obey him. 2 Corinthians 7.10. So in the story today, the people, they, they, took off, they took off their good clothes and they wore sackcloth, which is a rough and scratchy cloth, put dust on their heads, and they spent time praying and reading God's Word. I brought some things today that are different textures so we can see, you can just kind of see how things are. You'd have to feel for yourself at home, but for example, this ball, this has very smooth feel to it, and it's kind of squishy. It looks like the earth. And this rock... But how does this feel? Well, this feels very smooth, and it's cold, and it's heavy. That's how this feels. What about cotton? Do you think cotton is going to be soft or hard? We'll reach our hand in and pull some out. What do you think? So soft. Soft like a little sheep. So cotton is, the texture of cotton is very soft. 
What about this glass? It's hard, but it's smooth. And it's cold too because it's glass. We have something else here called sandpaper because there's sand on it. And it's very, let's see, how can we do it? Can you hear that? It's very, very, very scratchy. Sandpaper is very scratchy. Well, this material that I brought is very, is not, is not rough at all. It's very beautiful and smooth. And it just feels wonderful. This is a wonderful feeling fabric. But this one here, even though it's pretty and sparkly, it is very, very, very scratchy. It's a very scratchy feel to it. So everything has a different feel to it. And the people decided that in those days, that's what they would do when they were showing that they were really sorry. They would wear sackcloth. Here's a little game we can play to remember how much God loves us, okay? And remember the things about God. So in your classroom or in your house, you put down a heart, and then you're going to toss a bean bag from far away. And when it, if it lands on it, you're going to say, God is forgiving, kind, and loving. And the next person can try. God is forgiving, kind, and loving. And you can keep trying again and again. God is forgiving, kind, and loving. Always. So have fun playing with your bean bag heart game. And remember, God is forgiving, kind and loving. So I think that's all we have for today, except for our craft. Because we remember that God created the world, he created all the stars in the sky, we're going to make a picture with stars. I'm gonna have to use my scissors from my scissor box. I'm gonna cut some stars out right here. I have some black paper, because that's gonna be like the night sky. And we're just gonna quickly as we can, Cut out a few stars. And we remember the story of Abraham when God told Abraham to look out, look up in the sky, and all the stars that he could see is the number of descendants he was going to have. And at the time, Abraham didn't even have one son. Isaac wasn't even born yet. But God promised. And does God always keep his promises? Yes, he does. So we're going to cut some of these stars out. If you're in your class, you're gonna, you, your stars will already be cut out because I will have cut them out already for you or your teacher will. Or if you're at home, maybe um, your mom or dad or somebody else can cut out some stars or you could give it a try. I'm going to do it just a little bit. This, these stars have five points to them. Let's try one more. Do you like to go out in the night? If, you go, if you're going somewhere where there's not a lot of city lights and you can look up in the sky and see the beautiful stars that God has given us to enjoy in the night sky and the shiny moon. Okay, I think that's enough stars for now because that is all the time we have to, to work on our stars, but you can finish and do lots and lots of stars. We're gonna use this tray too because of course, we have to put a little glitter on them to make them sparkle in the night. So we have our glue. We're going to glue some stars on around the night sky. Then we will add some glue to the top and sprinkle on some glitter. God is, what are we going to say? God is forgiving, kind, and loving. Anytime we look at anything that God has made, we can remember that. God is forgiving, kind, and loving. But God wants us to obey him, to feel be sorry when we do something wrong, and choose to obey. So we have all of our glue on. We're going to take our glitter, because we love glitter. How are we going to open this? I do not even know. I don't really know how to get this open. So we will just have to, I'll just have to pinch some out. Ready? Isn't that pretty when it's falling like that? Let the glitter fall on our stars. This is a lot of glitter. Okay, now we need to just tap our stars. There we go. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? And we can remember, God is forgiving, kind, and loving. He created so many wonderful things for us to enjoy. So just like Ezra told the people, we want to do what's right. We want to obey God. And by doing that, we can obey our parents and our teachers. Yes. So have a wonderful day. And remember, Jesus loves you. Until next time.
family. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look on you with favor and give you his sweet peace. You are love.